guys, welcome to Cosplay O, and I'm here today with Justin. What are we making today? Well, Ray, we are. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. We're making uh, the Batman belt buckle. Nice. Uh, so basically, Alex Ross or anything you want to make. Um, yeah, basically, uh, I'm just going to show you a quick tip on uh, how to make your own Batman belt buckle. And what will we be making it out of? So you're going to need wobbler. Yes. Out of scissors. Nice. A ruler. Does it have to be a metal ruler? Can it be any ruler? It can be any ruler, as long as it's long. Long. <laughs> Need a long ruler. That's it. Doesn't have to be metal, but it has to be long. A pen. And your EVA foam. Right. Now we're looking at two mil. And six mil. And where can you get this from? It's just craft supply shops. These right? ones here, you get them from riots. Okay. Yep. Any other art shops? I've never seen them sell them before. So riot as you want. Not a problem. So we've got that wobbler. You can get from if you're in Australia. We've got the Sarlacc pit. Uh, game traders. Other than that, it's ordering from overseas with a great expense. That's the one. That's the it's one. It's like the holy grail for cosplayers. Oh, wobbler. No, <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. so what we're going to start off with is you get yourself a printout of the Batman symbol. So Google it, print it, print it as small as you can possibly do on your printer, except for that contacts one because you can't see it. Of course. Okay, so. So way. you've just picked up a scalpel now. I've picked it, and you need a scalpel. So, don't use scissors. Scissors won't cut properly, won't get around the edges, and all that sort of stuff. So. Now, if you're not a medical student, where can you find a scalpel? Art shops again? Art shop? Yep. Riot, Eccles, Bunnings. <laughs> Bunnings have scalpels? Bunnings, uh, Bunnings have everything. Office works. Have Everywhere. Everywhere, Everywhere, Ray, you Everywhere. idiot. You can get a scalpel you're anywhere. Not gonna, you're not going to be uh, without one. <laughs> okay, so what we want to do is we just want to cut around nicely like that. The more, you, the more you take your time with it, make sure it's sharp. Not sharp, you're going to have rips everywhere. Look at that precise work. Give me a good steady hand. You could be a surgeon, Justin. That's it. The glue gun. Right. I need a glue gun too. Now, I'd probably burn my fingers off if I tried to glue paper with a glue gun while holding it in my hand. Just put a tiny, <laughs> tiny little bit. <laughs> Don't get overzealous. Don't squeeze that trigger really hard. That's it. Although you haven't really made something with a hot glue gun unless it's stuck all over your fingers and you've got blisters. That's correct. <laughs> I think that's like a cosplay. You're not a true cosplayer <laughs> if you haven't burnt yourself. If you don't have burns everywhere, I've got that's a burn it. there. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to trace this. To here. Right. The reason why I'm doing this is so you get the proper logo. So okay. you can try and draw it out yourself, but oh, I guarantee yeah, no. you won't get all the angles right or anything like that. So. And I've got very limited artistic talent and I suppose there'd be a few viewers that would as well. So this yeah. is a good tip. Now will any pen mark on that EVA or do you have to yeah. have a specific one? No, nah, any uh, Great. ink pen. But I, I like to use these uh, these pens. Um, we'll show you Echo later. Pigment. Yep. Um, basically, they don't dry out okay. when you start using them on different sort of materials. Yep. Like where other felt pens, they'll start to run out and all this sort of stuff. So these these keep wet all the time. For sure. And the reason why I hot glued this the before when you saw me hot glue it yeah. is so it stays on the EVA foam, so I don't have to try and keep it on there. That'd suck. See, my first thought would be to pin it, but that's because I'm so more than craft. That's, so. that's, that's it. <laughs> like, and here's where I get the pins out. <laughs> but then you wouldn't get all those nice edges, would you? And then, because Feel it's it not off. really hot glued that, that well. There we go. We have our bat symbol. Fantastic. Now I'm guessing you get but the scalpel out again. 
<laughs> Otherwise, it will dry. That's the words of a man who's left lids off his that's, penis before. That's right. Okay, again. Just trace it out like you did before. So the surgeon skills come back into play. Yep. A lot quicker this time because. Default is to just go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Okay. Batman symbol. <laughs> All right. Batman symbol. So right. what thickness was that foam again? This is two mil. So that's the two mil EVA foam. The bat symbol. Look at that. You can go three mil. It's up to yourself. Okay. Today we're going with the two mil. Going with the two mil. Okay. So what we want to do? Zerula. <laughs> Zerula. Okay, so from here. We'll try and work out. So we're looking at about 10 mil. Right. Where that wing is. Okay. So 10 mil, so we're looking at another 10 mil. There. So let's we're gonna make this one just a little bit bigger. Okay. So let's go. Decent sized belt bucket. Yeah. All the skills. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So, for those who can't see it very well, you could use a different colour pen on this, right? No. <laughs> no? What, that's what, what you, I'd do. What I'd you, be like, I'm going to go for a white one or something. What so you I can, can do, and, and this is what I always have. Seventy. We want to measure up here as well, at a ninety. So we've gotten those measurements just by looking at the space on the outside of the of the bat symbol. Right? Yeah. All right. Okay. So there's two ways you can do your bat symbol. So then your fat symbol should sit nicely. Very nice. Just in there. Okay. Okay. You can either give it an edge or we can go flat straight. Okay. Alright, so if you want to do an edge, I'll have to show you. Sure. So we're going flat straight Just at the moment? Flat. We're going to go an edge. Yep. Drill up, probably around. Pick a number. Yeah, two. <laughs> two millimeters, something like that. Yep. Put your knife on an angle. Okay. Uh, and that's how you get yourself a nice little. Oh, there we go. Line like that. Very nice. Okay, if you want to go thicker. Bring it back Bring further. Bring further. We'll go on a bigger angle. Yeah. There we go. Like that. Oh, nice. So you've just got yourself two tutorials there. <laughs> two for the price of one. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to just... Again, we're not going to put a lot of hot glue on it. Okay. Because it doesn't have to. It's just going to have water at the top. That hot glue would be melting that foam a little, does it? It, it? it pretty much does, yeah. It melts it. Okay, so push 
Just See, this move. is the point where I'd end up sticking the symbol and it'd be wonky and I'd yeah. be an angle. So if you're going to do that, again, just measure it. So, so from here, yep. put it on there first. Just do some markings around the edges. Do some markings just under here. Yep. At the top. So all your, all your little points on the edges. And that way, if you're not gifted like me, it can just go straight off. That's it. So then you want to be able to say, let's see, 20, 20 mil there. Yep. And then you have to measure that one, so it's around 20, just over 20 mils. Nice, yep. And that way it's in the middle. That's it. So you just measure both of those there, put your markings. Because it's chalk, you can rub it out. Excellent. If you're not happy with it, and just when you're happy, nothing's really unfixable, is it? No. You can never make a mistake in cosplay. Just cell shade it. It's wise. Wise <laughs> men said one time, <laughs> everything can be fixed. Okay, so or basically, in wobbler. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Wobbler fixes everything. So, so basically, once you put your markings, you then yep. hot glue your your symbol. Yep. Make sure it's in those markings. Yep. Voila. Stick it on. Okay. Alright. Now we've got that. Squabla time! <laughs> okay. I can tell. Your eyes lit up. The... There we go. Okay. It's going to get all these excited voice on now. Get to cut into the sheet of warbler. It's like liquid gold. That's it. Melt spray this is, uh, out of six mil. sheet. Yep. So by the time we reach over the edge, this edge here, we're looking. I'd, I'd like to use pretty much go out about twenty mil. Okay. Yeah, I've got to make sure that you've got enough space to awesome. to cover that edge That's as well it. as where you want to go. Yeah, there. It doesn't matter if you use too much. Where's your warbler conservation skills? That's it. <laughs> I think it's probably a better idea to not stress over small details and nah. just be having fun rather That's than it. meticulously That's measuring out everything. If you stuff up, do it. <laughs> okay. Alright. As you can see, you can see through that, it's transparent. Yep. Okay, so we just want to try and work that out. It's pretty even. The hot glue uh, gun. It's gone. <laughs> Now, can you use a hairdryer for this if you don't have you a You can, heat but gun? it's way slower. Yeah. Way slower. So, what you do is start off in the middle. It's getting softer. It's starting to get softer and gooey. Once you've got the middle to start working. Yeah. Just to make sure it doesn't go too white, otherwise it's going to be really, really hot and burn <laughs> fingers. Okay, so no cosplayers have fingertips left anyway. Nah. It's a, nah. It's a rite of passage. Not to break, break into the bank or anything, and I never find my fingerprint. <laughs> Alright, okay. so you can just use your fingers to press down. Yep. Just push them down. Nice. Use your nail. Ah, to get into all the grooves. That's it. Pretty cool actually because you can see the outline of where you need to press a lot easier because it is white on black. That's it. Whereas if you went black on black, it was like, mm, yeah, it's a bit, bit trickier. A little bit harder. And you can see that's starting to be a little bit difficult to play with now. Right. Hit it back. As it cools down. So Warbler would be great if you lived in the tropics. Um, <laughs> it wouldn't cool down as quick. Nah, nah. <laughs> but then you want to make sure it's not going to... Uh, not going to stay tacky, that's, I suppose. That's, that's, a, that's a risk as well, isn't it? That's right. And if you are travelling with Wobbler, don't put it in your boot. Oh. Because I did that one time and it does melt. Did it just melt over it, things? It, it went soft. Warbler covered umbrella. It went soft. 
Don't mind me, I'm just knocking stuff over over here. It's all good, just don't break it. No, no. <laughs> Let's have a notoriously clumsy person stand next to people while they're making things. Okay. Excellent. So there's the bed symbol. Nice. So that's the front. Drawing music. So how long, about how long does this take to dry? Um, or set? I would say a couple of minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So not long at all. A couple of minutes. No problems. It's <laughs> gonna be a lot of editing in this. A lot. <laughs> okay. So, so once we've done that, heat it up again. Heat it up again. We are constantly heating this stuff up. Now, do you have to be careful what type of surface you're playing with this on? Do it on your kitchen bench, like I normally do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you did it on a wooden table or something, it could um, possibly just, wreck the varnish. Just don't use it on. Uh, Put the paper underneath it. Okay. Otherwise, you might have a fire. Oh yeah. Uh, don't use cardboard. Yep. Any anything that's durable to heat. <laughs> 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 yeah, just don't use anything flammable. <laughs> and we're just pushing the edges down. Yeah. At the moment, just so it gets that nicer, sharper edge. Sure. So if you don't have any long fingernails or, or anything, could you use the edge of the ruler or something like that? Um, I actually use a uh, pop rivet. Oh, okay. Yeah, the larger pop rivets. Yeah, yeah. They're great because they've got like a little little nip like that at the end of it, so it's nice sure. to get right Sure, it gets it. right into all the details. Yeah. Great tip. Um, and I find that doesn't actually stick to the wobbler, where you'll find this sort of stuff here. Yep. Ah, oh, yeah, it's quite tacky. It sticks. Yeah. So, yeah. so I'm not getting, not getting anywhere with it, no. sort of thing. No, it's pulling it back out yeah. as you lift it. For some reason, the pot rivet on both sides is fantastic. The little round bit, it's great for pushing in. The other bit, it's great for a little detail. Everyone's got fingernails, I'm sure. I thought you'd have one in your pocket with your chalk. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a bag of holding just it's, full of all random it's like things. The, it's like a utility bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got a nice edge happening there. Okay. Okay, and this just helps it a lot easier. When this dries, that we're going to mark it and fold it all underneath. Okay. Sort of thing. So we give it a few more minutes to dry again. Wait for more dancing music. More music. <laughs> What was our measurements before? Oh gosh. <laughs> so it was, it was 90. Okay. So these are the original measurements of the actual foam that we're cutting out of the warbler now. So we're going to go... Seventy. Now, because we're going to be folding that over, we're going to have it, we can bring that down a little bit. So we'll go sixty. Okay. So because these will be covering a lot. That's it. It doesn't have to be this exact size, which means we won't get little weird edge things coming out the back. So we've got. Doesn't have, to be, doesn't have to be perfect. No. no I think that's the main message of everything we're doing today. It doesn't, doesn't have to be perfect. To be as long as you're having fun, that's, that's all that matters. That's it. Are you having fun? Having heaps of fun. Excellent. <laughs> and we're doing it right. It's like, it's like woohoo! <laughs> Okay. Because I'm pretty sure that that is not completely screen accurate. Uh, I don't think it is. <laughs> That's good for us cosplayers. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do now is gonna put it off to an angle like this. So is every, I suppose everyone's wrapped their books in... Contact. Contact. Poorly. That, over the years. That's, that's the one. At least there's no bubbles to get out of Warbler. I've never done it and I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> so, so you're just kind of making those angled marks where you can cut. Yeah. So, just so, it, in so it doesn't all overlap each other and 
Yeah. And make it all bulky looking. And sure, stuff, so. sure. All right. Keep it nice and sleek and streamlined. I don't recommend using fabric scissors for this. <laughs> um, Keep your fabric scissors nice. Yeah, just buy yourself. These are like $10 pair. They're sharp enough. Spotlight. Anyway, you can buy scissors Bunnies, really. Office works. One thing I love about when you buy scissors is sometimes they come in those packs that you can't get into unless you've got some scissors. Yeah. You just yeah. look at them. Yeah. You go. This is no good to me. This is no good. This <laughs> Especially is on the way to a con and you've got to cut something quickly. That's, that's right. <laughs> and you've got these scissors that you try to attack with your car keys. Back to what we were doing. Cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So heating up the so, edges there. I'm going to heat up the edge. With the heat gun. As close as you possibly can, so it's quicker. Alright. So the closer you are, the quicker it will be. That's it. Turn it over. And that doesn't burn your fingers if you touch that it straight away. It doesn't, doesn't burn your fingers. It looks like it would just like melt to your fingerprints. Yeah. It's very deceptive. But yeah, here. You're going to start melting everything else. Sure. So you want to just melt this edge. Yeah. So keep it away from that centre part. We don't want to wreck the hard work you've already done. That's correct. So just push your finger down like that. Yeah. And then just work it. Yeah. It's nice and tight. Okay. This looks easy what I'm doing. But I've seen people try to do this for the first time. And they stuff up. So, so what you're saying is these are one of those things that look really easy, I'm, but actually it's quite difficult. And Justin is extremely talented. I'm trying to show you He's guys showing how you. not to stuff it up. There we go. So that's why I'm saying <laughs> you put your finger across like that, pull it across. Yeah. So don't be scared of it. Be in control of the wobbler. Don't let it control you. <laughs> So once it's been heated up and melted over, that's yep. it. That's it just it. turns into goo if you try to heat it again. Goo, pretty much. Wow. So it's a single heat use only. That's it. That's the only thing bad with Wobbler yeah. is that you really can't fix it up. Yeah. Unless you pretty much put another, cut out that piece, add another piece, which will be another tutorial. <laughs> um, and basically you will learn how to do it that way. Nice. So what we want to do is quickly just heat this foot up. Okay. Wobbler only works if both parts are actually hot. Okay. If they're not hot. It won't work. It won't work. Okay, so push that in there like that. Look at that. The reason why I'm doing this is because when you actually want to attach this to a belt, you put your screw through the belt and into the wobbler. Okay. And it actually holds. Fantastic. So it's like it's pretty much like going into hard plastic. So awesome. And you just need those little screws. Ten new ones. Yep, yep. Something that's thick enough to go through. Fantastic. And you don't have to see all these horrible bolt looking things on the outside. Yeah, the if it stuff. doesn't suit the aesthetics yeah. of the costume, that's it. That's a good way to keep it. The whole the idea with cosplay these days is to try and make everything hide. Yeah. So you can't see anything. You can't see like how you've done, done that. Sort of yeah. That's what makes you stand out from the rest. 
Okay, so what we're going to do now is because it's a belt buckle and we want it to fit around just a little bit, we can actually bend it. So we've got that nice little, little curve to it. Curve. And that will keep that. Yeah. And just keep. Very nice. Just keep working out like that. There we go. Fantastic. So what we'll do is we'll um, spray that up now. Fantastic. And then I'll show you how to weather it just a little bit and get your belt buckle done. Great work, Justin. Let's cool. get it painted. We'll come back soon. We are literally watching Warbler dry today. We are. <laughs> it would be good if it had a bit of a change in in physicality if it Yeah. If it changed visually while, know, it, was while, while it was drying, it would be yeah. they need to make hypercolor warbler. Well, someone so that you can see when it's hot and it's when like it's a cool. Thermo thing Quick there. patent it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't you freaking copy that. That's our idea. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it here first. That's it. I have evidence. Copyright. <laughs>are back with the spray painted belt buckle. Now is there a specific type of paint that you need to use on Warbler? Well I'll use this one called Fiddly Bits. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, basically it's uh, you get it from Bunnings. Right? You cannot get this from Officeworks. Okay. I'll just say that. Yeah. Alright. Good to know. But yeah, yeah, we can get this from Bunnings. That's about three bucks. So, what nice I've done cheap. first is I did primer first, so you can get the primer in this paint. Right. Um, and then what I did is I got a gold over there. So uh, nice. basically, the more coats you put on, the thicker you're going to get, and you're not going to really see that sort of grainy looking mob like. So, uh, what we're going to do is it looks pretty, it's a pretty belt. But we're going to just make it a little bit darker. So. Yeah. So what we're going to do Batman's is... not real shiny these days. I'm just going to get as much paint off as we can. Okay. Nice. Like so it brings out all the kind of shadowy areas. Yeah. On the belt. Makes it look a bit grittier. Darker. A bit more Batman. <laughs> Are you? Really? <laughs> Not really. Not really. I wonder how many people walk in to see a mental health professional convinced that they are Batman every year. I'd like to see figures on that. If anyone viewing has figures on how many people are actually convinced that they're Batman, I'd really like to see them. I reckon there'd be a few. And I'm more Really? <laughs> I'm just going to keep asking the whole time. Really? Are you really? I'm convinced that you're actually Batman and I'm just going to try to get you to admit it at some point. Batman. <laughs> yeah. Who does make Batman stuff? Alfred doesn't. No, isn't it? The dark dude. The dark dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Fake. Geeks Incorporated! Uh, <laughs> Alright. We'll just go with uh, Wayne Corp. Yeah, Wayne, Wayne Corporation. So, yeah, so right. basically we've weathered it. Nice. And it's just dry brush. Yeah, nice. so that really makes that pop as well. Yeah. It makes that logo really stand out. Nice. And then, very nice. What you can do. And again, this is just your Reeves, Reeves paint. Okay. So it's just acrylic paint, just standard acrylic paint? Yeah. You can airbrush it if you've got an airbrush gun. Airbrushing the inks will go over this. Okay. It's just a matter of whether you've invested in an airbrush gun or not, I suppose. Oh, that's, that's it. 
say an airbrush gun is a worthy investment? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Airbrush gun, maybe it costs quite a And there's your drop button. Fantastic, so that's all done. It's all done. Look at that. Nice work, Justin. So all you're going to have to do is, like I said, put your belts, like two screws on either side, just with a drill. To you, I to come off. Ah, there we go. I did the O thing again. You did? You I did, did the O thing again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for joining us today, Justin. No at all. Thank you for showing us how to make a really cool bass belt. <laughs>